What's up YouTube, JL Folks here and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I've got a pretty sweet song I started writing and producing with a buddy of mine down in Florida. My buddy Dean came to me with this poem that uh, he wrote about wanting to get back with his ex-wife and I saw a lot of potential in it, so I agreed to co-write and produce it for him. And it's come along pretty good. I've recorded everything on this recording, the bass, uh, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, vocals, slide guitars, and I even produced the drums as well. And today I'm going to be getting some real drums tracked at a real studio here in Nashville. And I'm also going to be recording the acoustic guitars as well. So this is what the song sounds like as is right now. I've got a scratch vocal track and I've just got some drums programmed. By the end of the day, this song should sound a lot better with the new acoustics and the new drums. And I'm also going to be cutting vocals to this track as well, some real vocals. And then we're going to get it sent off for mixing and mastering. But this is what the song sounds like at the moment. When I look into those blue eyes, I just can't get enough. I miss your pretty smile and you riding in my truck. Ever since you packed your bags, it's been a hell of a ride. There's no one I want with me, only you here by my side. Why'd I have to lose you to realize the things I didn't do? There's only one thing missing, and that one thing is you. Carolina line, you smiling back at me, looking so fine. Shoes on my floorboard, in your bare feet. Footprint on my windshield, tapping your feet, never missing a beat. Just the two of us. So that's basically what the song sounds like right now. That's with the fake drums and the acoustic guitars that are pretty much just a DI and my condenser mic here. So I'm going to be getting some really good acoustic guitar tracks. Uh, track today in the studio and I'm gonna be getting some drums tracked as well So this song should sound a lot better by the end of the day So now I'm gonna be heading to Claw Sound Studios in Nashville, Tennessee I did a video about this studio when I first moved here. It's on my channel uh, We did a couple jams. I've worked with this guy before his name's Corey Lawson and I believe the drummer's name is Dave Ryan and uh, Yeah, I'm about to head there now and get started on this song and should have something pretty soon. So y'all stay tuned all right, guys, I'm here at Claw Sound Studios in Nashville. Uh, my buddy Corey Lawson has a studio uh, outside of his house, which is pretty cool. So we're going to walk in here. This is kind of the studio I want to go for in the future. Uh, me and my girlfriend are thinking about buying a house here in Nashville, and I want to kind of do the same exact thing he's doing, uh, start producing out of my studio from home, and just basically take everything that I do now next level, and Corey's done that. So let's check out a studio. So this is the control room. You wanna listen, you wanna There's the man himself. What's up? That's Corey. He's the owner, CEO of Claw Sound Studios. We did a video a while back here uh, doing a whole tour of the studio. I'll go ahead and link that in the description of this video. But uh, we're getting started on the drums now. So we just got everything hooked up and through the window. Probably hard to see him over there. You can see Dave a little bit, but uh, but yeah, we're gonna get started on drums. Y'all stay tuned. Let you hear, kind of listen to the song, okay? Feel it out a little bit. Let me know. You got the track? Oh, let me. I'm gonna have to move. Wait, oh, do drums drum? Do drums come in right away at the top? Or um, no. There's like uh, a it's couple okay. measures of acoustic, was, and then okay, I didn't know. And then they come to, in. I was gonna see if I needed to move everything to give it a count in, but if drums don't. Yeah, no. He should be able to. Well, I'll do that just in case we need it. It'll help. Yeah. <laughs> what was that like?
Yeah, I kind of like that. More, I like that too. Like, I, I like that too. Than yeah, no, I was fe- I was feeling something like yeah. that too. Instead of the like. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, try something like that. Yeah, yeah I agree. Film. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Killer. Hey guys, well, I just got back from Claw Sound Studios in Nashville, and I had a killer time there. I think uh, we did a really great job of capturing the drum sound that I was looking for originally for this song. We were definitely thinking this was more of like a Darius Rucker, uh, Hootie and the Blowfish, 90s rock type vibe feel for this song. And Dave just nailed it on the drums. He just killed it. I think it sounds absolutely awesome. And we also mic'd up my Gibson J45, got some really great acoustic guitar tones, and did everything that we set out to accomplish at Claw Sound Studios. So now it's time for me to officially cut the vocals for the song, and I'm going to be using a Shure SM7B, which is a really great legendary vocal mic. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to do three takes of the vocals all the way through the song, and then I'm going to make a comp, which is basically I'm going to take the best parts of each vocal take and make one really great vocal take and then I'm going to do some harmonies and stuff as well but once I'm done with the vocals I'm going to send them over to Corey at Claw Sound Studios he's going to mix and master everything and then send it back to me next week and we'll see how it sounds it should sound pretty killer so now I'm going to get started on the vocals all right so we're back I went ahead and cut all the vocals for this song I've made a comp and I've got several different vocal tracks I'm going to go ahead and send Corey at Claw Sound Studios But here's a little mix of the drums, the new acoustic guitar, and the new vocal tracks. So this is not actually mixed or mastered or anything like that. I'm actually paying Corey to do all that for me. So this is just like a rough mix of the song to kind of get a feel for what it's going to sound like. But uh, here we go. That's the new acoustic guitar there. When I think about what's missing in my four-wheel drive I thought we'd last forever and you'd be by my side Making a love story, I don't care where we go As long as you're with me, our song on the radio Why'd I have to lose you to realize the things I didn't do? There's only one thing missing and that one thing is you Riding down a back road, headed to that Carolina line. You smiling back at me, looking so fine. Shoes on my floorboard, in your bare feet. Footprints on my windshield, feeling the beat in Tennessee. Just the two of us singing free. So that's basically what the song sounds like as is right now. This is just a rough mix in the studio. Nothing actually mixed or mastered. My buddy Corey's going to be doing all that. So it should sound really awesome once he does all that. But I can show you some of the isolated tracks. Here we have uh, the slide guitars. I've went ahead and kind of uh, flatlined everything here to send to Corey. So all these uh, levels are a little off. But here's the slide guitar. This is actually done on a Telecaster. So that's a Telecaster, and I actually doubled these, so this is like another slide guitar right here. But then below that, I've got three solos. Um, Each one of them is on my Heritage Custom Core H150. I actually went with the first solo because I feel like it's got a little less dirt, and it's a little more natural sounding. I kind of dig it. 
but this is that isolated solo track. <laughs> kind of like a little rock solo on the Les Paul and then um, below that I've got two rhythm tracks and I've got them panned right and left that's actually how I'm gonna have them in the mix but one's a Telecaster and one's a Les Paul and when you kind of pan those hard right and hard left it just gives an awesome stereo rock guitar sound and I really dig that but I think this is the Telecaster here <laughs> should be the Les Paul. So with both of those combined, panned right and left, it really sounds killer together. And then up at the top here I've got some bass. This, uh, this song is kind of laid out all over the place right now because uh, it's been bouncing back and forth between the two studios. So here we have the isolated bass track and I recorded this myself. I'm not a huge bass player, you know, I don't have a whole lot of expertise on the bass guitar, but I have gotten a lot better playing in the studio and actually came up with a pretty good bass line I think for this song. And for the amp profile I used STL Tones Tone Hub. They have an awesome bass amp uh, pack that you can use, it has a bunch of different uh, different bass amps and I think this is an Ampeg, I'm not too sure, but I also sent just the DI to Corey as well so he could actually come up with maybe even a better bass tone. But we have a couple options with and without the plug-in. But this is what it, it sounds like with the plug-in. So that's the bass guitar and this is basically all I have here and I've said everything to Corey I think it was like 20 tracks I sent him a bunch of different vocal tracks and uh, I'm really interested to hear what this song sounds like if it sounds really good I might release it I might put it on an EP or something if not I might throw it up on YouTube or add it to the catalog but I think it's a good song either way and me and my buddy Dean I think really knocked it out of the park on this one uh, he just came to me with a poem and had no songwriting experience whatsoever we just met up on zoom and worked it out and this whole song came about so it's pretty cool and i look forward to writing with him again i think we come up with some pretty cool stuff so i'll be posting this song probably on youtube once it's done and uh yeah that's kind of just the day in the life here in nashville uh there's a bunch of different home studios here in nashville just about every musician that has any production experience, has a home studio here in Nashville, especially in East Nashville. And it's just a lot of fun to meet up with other guys and collab and work on different projects together. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. And uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.